What's up? So we are going to have a reality chat about the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion part one. And this is not going to be a review of the entire episode. We're just going to, as we do on these reality chats, we're just going to touch on a few things that I saw that I just wanted to get your reaction on. All right, guys. So all of the women, they look beautiful. Some of the dresses were not my favorites, but I'm not here to give a fashion do's or don'ts or, you know, who wore it best and all that other type of stuff. But all of them, for the most part, they look, you know, pretty good. I want to talk about Giselle and Monique Samuels and how Monique came with the receipts and the binder with the sections and the tabs like she had this thing laid out like one of my managers do or even I do for my business when I have to have things sectioned off and and tabbed and tabulated I I was like oh my god like this looks like something when you're preparing to go to your accountant <laughs> to meet to talk about all of the things that you did for the last quarter or even the last year I said, Monique must have had nothing but time. She was like, look, I didn't go on the trip to Portugal. You guys were coming for me. We talked about this in one of my earlier episodes when I talked about Monique and her husband. And even though I'm not 100% on board with some of the things that Chris said because he was talking about women, I agree that Chris is a stand-up man. This is the type of husband or man that you want to have in your life because he goes hard for his wife, right or wrong. And Monique hasn't always been right. But in this situation, it was like she had all of this pent-up energy and venom for what she felt like these women tried to do and tried to come for her in her relationship. Whether the rumors were true or not, because I don't know. But I do believe that Giselle is jealous of Monique's relationship that she has with her husband. And clearly Giselle has not been successful in the relationship department in any of these seasons of The Real Housewives of Potomac. We all have seen it, okay? So when Monique came with these receipts for Giselle, oh my God, I felt so embarrassed for Giselle. I wouldn't have blamed her if this was one of those times where she got up and exited and said, I need to take a break because Monique was coming hard and heavy. So I'll I'll commend Giselle for sitting there and taking it, but Monique had the receipts to prove that what I have been saying throughout this season was that this relationship that she has with her ex-husband, I believe is just for the cameras. It was just for a storyline. It was for the show. I don't believe that Giselle is that stupid. And Jamal Bryant, he is clearly a holy whore, <laughs> just like Monique said. And the man can't keep his dingling in his pants. So he's spreading it around the congregation and the women are here for it. These women, they flock to the new birth church. They're hoping to be the next one in line. Listen, there there definitely are holy whores out here. Jamal is not the only one. There are definitely a lot of female holy whores who want to be on the arm of a successful pastor and be that first lady. I have seen it. I've seen it, not personally, but I've seen it where I can remember there was a local church. This guy had a huge church. He had a wife apparently he cheated on his wife and they had billboards around the city and you know he was in the pictures with his wife once that relationship ended and that woman was smart enough to leave this nasty disrespectful dishonorable man he got with the side piece and they got married they tried to make it right and of course they changed the billboards up so the new woman was on the picture on the billboards now i don't know if that relationship is still going i don't know those people personally but i'm just using that as an example anyway monique had the receipts she had screenshots of text messages she called out the phone number because giselle tried to deny it she tried to say well i don't believe a word that comes out of monique samuel's mouth why not just because you don't like her that doesn't mean that she's a liar. And Monique may say things that were questionable. She may have said things that were questionable when it came to the fight that she had with Candace. 
because we've talked about that before as well and I'm not gonna go into that right now. But Monique stands her ground when it comes to the things that she said. She's apologized for bringing out the past situation that happened with now Giselle's ex-boyfriend Sherman where Sherman was busted and apparently arrested for some indecent acts in a park with a I guess he cheated on another girlfriend who was a friend of Monique's. So Giselle, I believe she doesn't like the fact that Monique knows a little bit too much about her relationships and she doesn't want her to be involved. I can understand you not want somebody in your personal business, but Giselle is always in other people's personal business, which is one of the reasons why she and Karen clashed so much. And Karen also came for Giselle and her fashions and Karen stood her ground when it came to Giselle and Giselle's now defunct business, Every Hue Beauty, because she asked her, like, is your business still operational? And Giselle is using the excuse for, for everything now is COVID because of COVID. I couldn't really go to Atlanta back and forth because of COVID. Jamal couldn't really come back and forth to Baltimore because of COVID. I had to shut my business down because the manufacturer shut down because of COVID. I'm sorry. I I do believe a lot of things do happen and have happened because of COVID. I've experienced it in business where I've had delays and products being shipped and, and those different things being received, but my business is still going. It's still operational. It There may be some delays and I may have shut a few things down, but I'm not completely out of business. So there are so many distributors and there's so many manufacturers. And that's one of the reasons why as a business, you have to have a backup plan. So Karen came for her in that situation, but Monique had the receipts, guys. And you let me know your thoughts in the comment section because when Monique said <laughs> that Jamal, you know, is spreading his dingling all around the congregation, I believe it. And I believe that Giselle knows it too. And the excuse that she gave about her her daughters and her children not wanting to be in this family type situation with their dad because they know how he's treated her. And now they had a chance to look at the show and see how things may have looked. So now they're having private conversations about everything. Like, nah, I don't believe it. Don't try to fool the people because we don't believe it. This is for show. And Jamal is not an honest person. He came out and did a video some time ago, maybe it was earlier this year, where he came out and said that he has not recently had a baby, but Karen basically came out and said, that's not true. He actually did recently have another baby and this would be baby number seven. And I caught it too, because when Jamal did that video, he didn't say that everything that was said was untrue. He was pretty much saying that the dates that were stated about these things happening weren't true. So he was not saying that it wasn't true. He was saying that the dates that were in question and the dates that were stated, those things didn't happen during that time. So you have to watch when people say things and watch how they put a spin on things because a lot of people will try to spend words to sell you on what they're trying to get you to buy and we're not buying it jamal has proven himself as an unfaithful person that's why she divorced him and they have been divorced for a long time but her being on the real housewives of potomac him having this position in the new birth missionary baptist church and him wanting to be a civil rights icon i mean Jesse Jackson has had kids outside of his marriage. They said Martin Luther King Jr. was not faithful to his wife. It's not something that is uncommon, but to be somebody who is a preacher in a church and you're preaching to people about how they're supposed to live and operate their lives and you're not living and operating your life that way, it's deceptive, it's deceitful, and you are not honorable. So for them to put this on for the show, for the Real Housewives of Potomac, and to have this charade going on, 
Monique called her out for it. And Monique said, look, if you're gonna try to come for me and my marriage and my relationship and my family, then you better be prepared for the same thing to come back on you. And that is true. You have to watch what you put out there because what goes around is definitely gonna come back around. It's the boomerang effect and she is getting it. And of course they ended it there on this episode. So there is yet more to be disclosed and to be seen guys. But you let me know what you think in the comment section about this situation. Do you feel like Monique had every right to bring the receipts and to call out this fraudulent relationship <laughs> that they're having for the cameras and for the gram and for the show? Or do you feel that it was just team too much and Monique really didn't need to go there because her main gripes should be with Candace? I don't know. I felt like she had the right to do it because we saw this in the beginning of the season when Monique and her husband did the live video and they talked about line by line of how these women were doing things and saying things and insinuating things and circulating rumors based on something a former friend of hers said. Again, we don't know if the rumors are true. Sometimes where there's some smoke, there means that there is a fire of some sort. But we don't know, that hasn't been coming out, that hasn't come out and has been proven, so we don't know. But even if it's true, it really isn't any of our business because it wasn't something that was a part of the show. And I do believe that there possibly was an attempt to sabotage Monique so that she would get fired from the show. But I mean, Monique did put her hands on Candace, so that's another story and we're not gonna go into that. We already talked about that a bit. And I'm sure on this next, part of the reunion we'll get more into that we'll see because it's a three-parter so again you guys let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section and of course i appreciate you guys listening thank you for commenting thank you for subscribing and until the next time i hope you enjoyed this reality chat and i will see you again soon